to dollar using three very simple tools first tool is uh, charts uh, charts don't lie uh, the second uh, thing is open interest data which kind of tells us what the big guys are up to uh, the big guys as in the option sellers and it helps us identify uh, whether they are predicting the market is going up or down and the third thing is we look at FII DI data which is very simple foreign institutional investors what are they doing right so our entire premise is that forget the news forget our interpretation forget what economy looks like we only look at what the big guys are doing and we use their data to predict what the market is likely to do instead of using our intellect right there's no point in using our view of the economy to predict what the market is going to do in two days it's best to do what the big guys are doing right so on that prelude let's get started with Kiala Graham market and let me share my screen and uh, let's look at what we talked about yesterday see yesterday we said that uh, staying long is the good idea it's uh, not short it's not a shorting market today there was an intraday opportunity short because after going uh, almost half a percent up it came down a little bit but after coming down it was very evident that there was, there was buying at uh, lower levels and uh, as you can see whenever it went close to 18200 zone it was buying emerging right so the large theme of the market for me still is that look this is a breakout and we are still above the breakout zone and now a doji candle has formed right what is a doji this is a doji right this candle you see let me just connect my drawing thingy uh, sorry i i just realized that i hadn't connected that i was still on a mouse mm -hmm. So, uh, right, this is a doji. This candle you are seeing, it's an indecision candle. It looks like this normally. Basically, but normally, right, what you have to understand, I mean, this comes with a little bit of experience. Usually, uh, uh, sorry, it is my name at sensible.com. Uh, so, uh, usually, this is an indecision candle. Usually, it signifies reversal or uptrend or reversal or continuation normally after breakouts right after the confirmation of a breakout normally it indicates continuation so although doji is an indecision candle in this particular situation it is more likely that this candle is uh, 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 continuation so uh, very very likely most probably say, see it's eight out of ten times right and in trading we can only be sure of eight out of ten times what we are going to see after this is probably another candle which is going to continue the bullish trend or maybe a series of smaller candles. It could be anything, but I'll be very surprised if market collapses from here, right? This is very highly unlikely to happen simply because, see, we already saw this thing happening. Look at this. This was an indecision candle doji which was formed a few days back. Then it was followed by a bullish engulfing. Then it tried to come, come down again, but it did not work. And now we have again got a bounce from this trend line. And now we have a doji. This is most likely a continuation candle, if you ask me. And I would say if tomorrow's close happens, if tomorrow there's a strong open or a strong close, we are likely to see this thing going up, up and away. Right? That's my interpretation on uh, Nifty. Bank Nifty also, it's a tiny candle, right? So this, I want to draw your attention to this. Today's candle, look at the volume. It's a very low volume candle, at least 20% uh, less than yesterday's candle. And it is still above, the, the close is not particularly impressive, right? It's still pretty much above the you know 80% mark of yesterday's green candle. So if you look at this, the bull trend in Bank Nifty is also pretty much intact, right? Now, dollar is one thing where I made a mistake, which I should have pointed out yesterday, but it's a complete miss from my side. Hmm. Uh, the problem is, for some reason, the toolbar doesn't come in this thing. So, look at this, right? This was an indecision candle doji, right? And there was a tiny bullish engulfing candle day uh, yesterday. Now, I kind of ignored it thinking that dollar to niche jana, which was wrong on my part. And... I, I decided to stay out. Actually, the right trade to do here was, of course, long. I decided to not trade dollar. But then I did a chill trade, which did go wrongly. But at least on the uh, YouTube live, we did, we said key staying out of dollar is probably the right thing to do. But this is a doji. This is a bullish engulfing. And this is a confirmation candle of bullish, bullish engulfing. Maybe there is some more 
upside left in dollar however this is a tiny bullish engulfing candle yesterday so although in hindsight it's very clear that you should have gone long uh yesterday it was not very clear simply because this is a tiny bullish engulfing right you can't really look into tiny bullish engulfings and say that market is going to go long. but so that was a genuine miss uh, i didn't see that coming but if you look at dollars uh, uh, overall longer term chart it's hitting two resistances which is a 50 day moving average and 100 day moving average now so it's a wait and watch on what will happen next right whether it will uh, decide to continue the uh, trend or it will uh, uh, so if it closes above this line which is 100 dma and 50 dma there is a possibility that it can go maybe even higher up to 80 to 80 zones but if it doesn't we might see some correction right so dollar i am passing simply because it's not clear now let's look at uh, option chain data uh, Oh, sorry, somebody is saying, please pull up the chart. Pull up which chart? The dollar chart, is it? Uh, it's an image, actually. Uh, uh, because dollar spot chart, dollar futures chart is not available in brokers, right? So I just take a screenshot from one of the brokers and I just show this here. It's not a trading view chart because that's a spot chart. This is a futures chart. Uh, and I can't open a particular broker's, uh, you know, uh, terminal on this program because this is broadcast on multiple brokers simultaneously so that's a kind of uh, you know understanding i have with brokers so now let's look at uh, uh, open interest a lot of 18300 uh, 18350 calls added today and 18200 but what you have to understand is there isn't much of an unwind at 18200 even now right just some 6 lakh quantity that's it and 18,250 has seen fresh addition. And overall, if you look at it, right, 18,200 is a strong support. 18,300 is a strong resistance. Yes, it will be very difficult uh, for uh, Nifty to do significant movements in this expiry. But if it does, the short covering here will be so violent that it will be a big move, right? So 18,200 is right now a, a support. 18,300 uh, is now a resistance. The PCR is 0 0.8, which is moderate. Uh, so it's kind of uh looking neutral right uh, moderately bullish to neutral fia data is what is bearish right because fia sold around 30k calls today which is bearish and they bought around 20k puts today both of them are bearish right and if you look at fia futures also it is kind of bearish 500 crore is not a big amount but it is bearish this is bullish uh on stocks fia di both but but I mean, what's the point in looking at uh, stocks data when you're trading uh, weekly expiries, right? This is the long term picture. But overall, FIA OI, this is not very negative, 7K. So, and even this, right? It's not terrible because there is still a decent amount of puts. Because if you look at overall outstanding OI, uh, 1.7 by 2.6 is, it's roughly, let me just see how much is that. I could just do 1.7 by 2.6 without a calculator, but I guess old age is catching up. 2.66. It's like 63%. The PCR of FIA is almost like, you know, 63% uh, of the 63% uh, for every, uh, you know, 100 puts, there are 63 calls, which is not too bad. Uh, so, Despite this data, I won't call it like a very bearish mahol. It's slightly bearish, right? FIO overall is slightly bearish. I don't think it's terribly bearish. I think it's slightly bearish. Now, going back to it, right? What does it all lead to? See, as long as Nifty is above this zone, right? Where the breakout happened, it is going to continue. The time when you have to reevaluate what is happening is this. If Nifty goes down here drastically like if you go into this zone then we'll see significant bearishness right also let me just pull up the weekly chart of nifty i'll just see comments to see if there's something
right so if you look at nifty's weekly chart right see this is a shooting star right and if you look at the candles formation this week so far this thing is still above the wick of this shooting star right if nifty closes below this shooting star which is somewhere around you know this level right somewhere around let's say um let me just magnify this to see what number we are looking at somewhere around 18 100ish or something a uh, sorry one second yeah if nifty closes below 18 100ish or something there is still a scope to think that okay there is a second shooting star coming and this uh, breakout point is gone and all that but as long as nifty stays above this 18 200 250 zone right then it's highly unlikely that we are seeing a reversal as long as so basically the level you have to watch for is this level where the breakout from this trend line happened um, and also the candlestick formation which is going to happen for this week if nifty is going to close below this particular level then which is around 18 150 area i mean give or take right it's never clearly one particular number uh, then we will reverse our opinion but if it's going to stay above this 18 200 250 zone then it is outside the breakout area also it is beyond this particular shooting star like you can see this shooting star right it's uh, it's it has invalidated the shooting star and it is going to trigger the stop of people who have shorted the shooting star if that as long as that continues nifty is going to continue uh, uh, bearish right so stay i will stay long as long as nifty holds the 18200 ish zone i i won't short it right and if nifty goes below 18100 ish zone i'll re reevaluate my market view and as long as this zone is held i would still say it's a breakout and we have to trade uh, breakouts with rr greater than 1 we can do bull call spreads call by long futures as well normally but the only caveat there is i mean only only warning there is if you are going to buy call options you have to understand that 18300 plus zone is highly unlikely to break this uh, week simply because of the oi if you believe in oi this zone is highly unlikely to break so maybe uh doing spreads uh for this week might be a little tricky given the oi build up so i'm going to refine the statement as bull call spreads or call buy for next week or long monthly futures with tight sl right simply because i don't think this week it is highly likely to break that 18300 plus ka highly you know call filled mind field right uh, afsal is saying uh, uh, nifty bank nifty is being operated and being kept artificially high lot of talk in retail about operator see the thing is this right it could be true but for whatever reason the data is saying that um the data is saying that this thing is likely to go up right so uh if data is saying that it is likely to go up let's let's join the party of operator right what do we care who is doing it the only thing we are interested in is you know making money right but of course there's a risk there so sorry now i just saw the comments what is wrong with usd and all that i'll just uh, remove my photo oh my god this is wrong this is not what i wanted to do now oh, it's ulta Mm, sorry yeah this is back so now i have to figure out how to move this thing i am sort of turn off my camera so that we can see the usd and all so what i meant was there was a tiny doji here then there was a bullish engulfing type formation yesterday here because it completely covered the body of the previous candle you can see it here right this is the doji this is the engulfing but however i kind of ignored it because the candle was tiny and the volumes were low so i thought why do you why do i want to care about a 
tiny candle. But my mistake, of course, was that this was there was a, a 200 DMA here. Nifty was, I mean, dollar was consolidating here. It had not broken this level for a long time. And in those circumstances, perhaps it was advisable to be long here than short. That was a mistake. Uh, but anyway, that's a spread. So, so this is what I was explaining about dollar. I hope now it's clear to you because that I've turned off my camera, right? Uh, uh, but anyway, so that uh, kind of brings us to the close of our today's analysis. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow with tomorrow's analysis. Thank you so much for joining. And as usual, please take care and keep your capital safe.